Hi guys, it's Reactions here, and welcome to the episode 2 of my career mode with Leeds United. As you can see, I was just looking at some players to either get on loan or try and buy them, but um, I didn't have enough wages because Leeds United has got a limited budget. I did try and um, I did try and request some extra um, money from the board, but as I just started my career with Leeds United, um, the board doesn't know how I am going to perform in the career yet, so they didn't want to gamble and give me money, and um, I can understand that, because they don't want to give money to someone who's going to be crap at managing. As you can see there, I tried getting some money. Um, I put um, that I'd um, definitely gain promotion, which is going to be really, really hard, because the later matches are really hard, and as you will see, I do really need to buy some new players, but I haven't got enough money, so I just need to fight it out for the January transfer window, and then hopefully I can request some money from the board, and hopefully I can buy some better players or get them on loan. So, as you will see later on, they do actually um, say that I need to work on the team, I need to get a bit better, as you can see there. Um, the message, we have reviewed your request, but at the minute we do not feel that we have seen enough of you at this club. So, that was really a bummer for me because I really needed some extra money for wages and extra money to actually buy players. But, um, this says, I just need to work on the team a little bit better. I need to get my name out there, I need to start winning games. So, I just go into the next match. Uh, which is against, I am not too sure, Hanover, Hanover 96. So, start the match. And I start off really, really good. Get an early, early chance in the second minute. And I felt that should have been a foul. I got swiped off my feet. But I come back with the possession. Passes it to Austin, but he got a bad touch. And he couldn't get the shot away in time. But come back with another chance with Beckier. Try to cut in to shoot, but as you can see, you get cut out again. Now these are back with a chance with Stindel. Cuts in, passes it to Roach. But I am um, do some good defending there. And now they're back with another chance. But um, my defence was a lot, lot better in this game. But there was getting the majority of chances. But yet again, Padigheny comes to the rescue. And they come back yet again. This was another one-sided match, so I know I need to work on my defence. But that was a brilliant block. I don't know who it was who blocked it, but nonetheless, it was a good block. Now they come with the corner. And I should have really left that to go, but it didn't come to anything anyway. And now I'm back with a chance with Juve. Cut in, passes it out wide to Drury, and then across it, and I couldn't get my head to the ball. I really need to buy some players who is actually good in the air because my defence is rubbish in the air and the um, attack is rubbish in the air, so I can't get any goals and I cannot defend on set pieces. So as you can see, the start of the second match, it is still 1-0, I mean one all. I mean nil-nil, sorry about that guys. So they come straight back with a chance, but Pedicani, he had a brilliant game in this match. And now these are back with another chance. And the score. Stindl in the 57th minute. I think I do make a change straight after because um, in FIFA, if you go 1-0 down or if nothing's working for your team, then you need to change the formation and you need to change the players so I think I changed formation to 4-4-2 diamond formation and now I'm doing some brilliant <laughs> I love the new technique of dribbling and then Juf with a shot but it gets blocked and I'm not too sure if it gets blocked by my own player or by the defender so um. Passes it to Beckier. He takes a shot and it's a girl. That is a brilliant girl by Beckier. That is why um, 
he is always starting in my game so far because he can do that I can just cut on to his left foot and take a nice little finesse shot so now these are back with a chance but uh, it was a rubbish pass and Paddy Kenny just picks it up now Becchio again I'm not too sure how he got a yellow card I've don't know why I didn't put that into the video, but I do apologise, guys. And as you can see, Juve skyrockets it with a header. And now I uh, make three changes. I'm not too sure who I take off and bring on. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, and it hits the post. That was really, really lucky on my part. And then the match ends when I was on a counter attack. I felt like I could have um, actually got on goal, but at least I got a draw. I didn't lose like the last game. So now I just changed my formation a bit, um, try and find the best formation possible for my squad because these friendly matches, I know they're not important to win or they're not important to lose or anything, but they are important to me because I can find the best squad possible in the four games of friendlies and then I can go straight into the um, competitive games having found the best squad and the best formation for me so as you can see I'm just changing it I've got a 442 diamond formation um, if you're wondering why I've put a defender in the midfield position it's because Aiden White is um, good in defence and he is good in midfield because he's um, got a lot of pace and that's what I need on my squad that I feel. Um, now as you can see I'm just trying to sell some players so I can um, get some extra money that way but um, no teams were actually coming in with bids I think only two came in with bids for players but I put a counter offer I added about a hundred pound and then the team says no he is not worth it so um, it looks like I'll have to do a lot of work in the January transfer window but hopefully in that time the board has seen what I can do with the team and hopefully I can get some more money alright anyway guys it's coming to the end of the episode now hope you enjoyed it I do apologize that there's only been one match per video it's just because at the start of the career you've just got to look for transfers you got to change your team so that's basically what's been happening in these videos the next episodes will actually have more uh, matches in because I won't need to do transfer and hopefully I won't need to change my team as much. So thanks for watching, hope you're looking forward to the next episodes and I will see you there guys. Peace out.